Okay, so now it's time to look over clock, calculator, notes, and settings. Here's clock. Let me pull this away here. Uh, and let me also delete this world clock. So, uh, this here is a uh, clock. This is the world clock um, section. And if we want to add a new world clock, we just click that plus button so I can actually show you what it all looks like. We're just going to type in J, see what comes up. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. Um, and as you can see, the clock is black, which means that it's nighttime there. If I Let me find one that's possibly in daytime. I'm going to type in a G, and I'll, I'll, I'll click here. Oh, wait, they're at nighttime, too. But if it's white, it's um, it's daytime. If it's black, it's nighttime, or it's dark. Uh, because 2.47 a.m. is in the morning, 8.47 is at night, so both of those times are dark, and so that's why it's black. Um, if you hit edit, you can actually move these around with that little thing there, or you can delete them by clicking that and doing that. You cannot swipe, but you can still delete them just like so. So that is world clock section. This here is your alarm clock. I use this all the stinking time, every single night. For school, I use the one at the top. And for weekends, I use the one, either this one or this one. Uh, I use this one if I really think I need to sleep in. I use this one because I normally wake up at 9 o'clock on the weekends. But if I feel I need to sleep in, I'll set it to 10 o'clock. Um, it's really helpful because I'm noticing I'm not waking up at 11 o'clock anymore, which is really nice. Uh, if you hit edit, you can actually edit these, and I'll show you what the little form here looks like. As you can see, we've got, it was said to repeat, sound, snooze, and label. And there you can set what time you want it to go off. And you can also delete them and move them around. No, you can't move them around, but you can delete them. Alright, um, so that is that. It's really helpful. All you got to do is just turn it on, and it will go off at its given time. Alright, this here is uh, your next section, which is going to be stopwatch. Um, this is a very... Actually, this is a very disappointing feature, um, which I'll tell you why in a minute, but this is basically what it is. Um, the big one is your total time. This one right here is your current time. Uh, the small one is your current time. And then you got a start button and a reset button, which is disabled because there's nothing to reset. If I go ahead and click start, it will start the timer. And now we've got a few different features. We've got stop and lap. And this thing down here are all your laps. So whenever I hit lap, this one keeps going, but that one resets and there's our lap. And I can click on the lap, and I can keep clicking, and you can have a ton of laps on here. Pretty much infinite, as far as I'm concerned. And then when you're done, you just go ahead and hit stop, and there we've got all of our stats. Now, this is the reason why it's kind of disappointing. Um, the reason why it's disappointing is because you cannot actually save this in a log, and you can do that on all the other iPods, such as the iPod Nano or iPod Classic. You cannot do it on the iPod Touch, though, which is kind of annoying. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It doesn't really matter at the moment. I don't use it very often. But still, it would be nice if you could. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it. And that's all for stopwatch. Next up, we have alarm. And now uh, what you have is you've got these little dials here that you can use to set the time. You've got the one on the left is for hours. And this one on the right is for minutes. So if I wanted it to go off in uh, 14 hours and 7 minutes, I can do that. Hit start, and it'll immediately start counting down. You can go up to about a day with this, so 23, and then 59, which is right there. That is pretty much a day minus a second. So, it'll go off tomorrow, approximately this time. Tomorrow, if I wanted it to. I'm not going to make it do that, though, just because it sounds annoying. Um, and I'm going to go in really quickly, show you guys all of the different alarms that it includes. Um, stuff like that. So these are basically the ringtones that you can have on your iPhone. I actually think you can download ringtones from iTunes and actually use them as an alarm. So this here, option right here, which is called Sleep iPod, once it goes off, it'll put your iPod to sleep. I guess it means like, uh, you know, you need to stop using this and do something else. This is mar Hold on. This is marimba. It's pretty nice. This is alarm. It's actually not as effective as it used to be because, well, it seems that in the software updates it's kind of gotten quieter, which is not good because it doesn't wake me up anymore. That's uh, ascending. That was ascending. This is bark. And do keep in mind these were all preloaded. None of these were downloaded. This is bell tower.
for the long. This is blues. It repeats. I think. Yeah. This is boing. I didn't even touch that. Wow, I didn't even touch it. This is crickets. This is digital. This is, yeah, whatever. This is digital. That'll probably wake me up. That's pretty obnoxious. This is doorbell. Alright. Yesterday it was Halloween and I had fun with that. As soon as I clicked it, I'm like, oh wait, are there trick-or-treaters here? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I can't do it anymore. This is quack. I have a much better quack than that. I think trick-or-treaters are here. No, kidding. I actually don't have a doorbell. Here's duck. I can quack better than that. Listen to mine. <coughs> Hold on. Okay. I couldn't help it. Anyway. <laughs> Since it's so quiet, it will not make a good alarm. So I'm going to show it to you up close. That's enough of that. This is motorcycle. This is old car horn. Pretty nice. Old phone. It's fun to ring that in people's houses. I think they have phone calls. Um, this is piano riff. Alright, I think it plays again. Yep. Pinball. Play it again. Yeah. Robot. Only plays once. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Sci-fi. Sonar. This is sonar. This is strum. Every time I hear that, I want to start dancing. I don't know why. And this is timba. It's also a bit quiet. Plays once. Time passing. This is trill. Wait. Okay. This is trill. That's also kind of obnoxious. This is a xylophone. So, close again. This is what I normally have it set to. So those are all the different alarm options. Um, and again, when you hit start, it immediately starts counting down. And it's, yeah. So that's clock. Um, next up is going to be calculator. And you should already know how to use a calculator. But I'm going to go and show you the interface anyway. Um... This is your number pad, obviously. Everything with numbers is your number pad. And now going in rows from left to right, this is your memory clear button. This is your memory plus button, which means it'll actually add the current value displayed on the screen to the current value uh, that's stored in the memory. And this is the, M mi the memory minus button, which will actually subtract the current value displayed on the screen from the current value stored in your memory. And this, will this button, MR, which stands for memory record, will actually record what's currently displayed on the screen to the memory. Um, this one that says AC, that's clear. It just clears the screen. Uh, if you click it again after doing that, it'll actually clear the whole entire thing. So if you click it once, it just clears your entry, and you can still continue what you're doing. But if you, you know, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, um, that's your positive and negative. So if I click it, it can make it positive or negative. So this is your uh, divide, your... Uh, multiply, and then down here you have subtract, and plus, and this is your equal, uh, your equal, this is your period, and you got a really big zero button, and if I turn the landscape, we get a scientific calculator, and I'm going to go ahead and let you guys have a look at what the buttons are, because I don't really know what any of these are, alright, so just go ahead and take a good look at those so I can, yeah. so those are that, and if I click the second button, it'll actually display a few more. So that's the scientific calculator. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to operate.